Sergeant James Everett Sanborn is my great uncle and he passed away during the Korean War. Seventy years ago, there was a young man who was called into active duty in the Korean War. He was a sergeant of the 17th Infantry in the Army, just a boy from Maine who became a man witnessing the ravages of war. In 1950, the Korean War started and called many to action. One of those people was named James Everett Sanborn. He was one of my paternal grandmother's brothers. Here's what is written about him. Sergeant Sanborn was a member of Company E, 2nd Battalion, 17th Infantry Regiment, 7th Infantry Division. He was seriously wounded by the enemy in North Korea on May 16, 1953, and returned to duty on May 20, 1953. He was listed as missing in action while fighting in the enemy in North Korea on July 8, 1953. He was presumed dead on July 9, 1954. No one else from my family had ever been to Korea. He never married and had no children. As far as I know, all those who knew him have passed away now. With no one else to visit him, I decided that I needed to search for his name among the millions of lost soldiers at the Korean War Memorial in South Korea to give my family some feeling of closure. This was my visit. Louisiana, Maine. Oh, okay, there he is, there he is, there he is. James E. Sanborn. Holy smack. Wow. I didn't know if he would be here because he was missing at first. Wow. It was a really striking moment to see his name there, especially second on the list. Seeing his name written out there physically made the story of him feel more real. I really wanted to go to the Korean War Memorial and there's also a museum. I wanted to see if his name would be in the list of names of the lost that they have there. They have hallways, long hallways of plaques on either side of the walls full of names, countries, places. Um, and I wanted to see if his would be there because like I said, he was missing at first, he was MIA. And then after the war ended, he was presumed dead. And I don't know when they made the memorial and what they counted, so I wanted to be sure, is his name there? I was surprised at how quick I was able to point it out. First, I was like, okay, how am I supposed to find his name in this giant hallway? I'm like looking at all the S's and it's like, wait, they split America up into the 50 states. So then I went over to Maine and right at the top, second down, there he is, James E. Sanborn. It's crazy. I stood there for a minute and I was like, wow, this is crazy. It's real. It's real. He's here. His name is here. He was remembered gives you that sort of feeling like if people like him weren't there then I wouldn't be able to be in South Korea right now. Yeah. And the museum taught me a lot of things I didn't know. One I think was that America was the first allied nation to fight with South Korea to keep it free. And then others followed suit. There were so many. The Netherlands, Canada, Germany, Switzerland, France, England, everyone was joining in. It's not just America. Not just America. Yeah. There's a lot of mixed history as well with the occupation of Korea by Japan and the Russo-Japanese War, World War II, leading into the Korean War. And... So I was really interested in Korea and was learning the language and everything before I registered that I have a, an uncle who, a great uncle who died fighting for South Korea. It's interesting that that's how things turned out. I, I remember that my grandmother had this like framed 
thing with his picture on it and all of his medals on it on her wall and I would ask her I remember as a child asking her what that was but I didn't remember what the answer was so I was a kid and I wasn't listening and I didn't know what Korea was yet but I feel really grateful and really lucky that I have someone like him in my family line um, I'm proud of that his life was tragically cut short and there was nothing of him to be given to my grandmother's family and I feel like for me seeing his name there sort of gives some kind of reassurance some kind of closure you know thousands upon thousands of others were there and their lives were also tragically cut short because of this but they were remembered his name is forever on that memorial. But yeah, I really wanted to go there and see his name and confirm for myself and my family that he was not forgotten. Yeah, that's part of my family history that I didn't know about before wanting to come to Korea. Anyway, that's a, a short bit of my family history that you maybe didn't need to know about. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> Very cheery subject. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Korea themed videos. Like and subscribe. Share this video if you think it's interesting. That's all for this video. Do good, be good, and see you when I see ya. Annyeong!